But we're not live. We're live okay. now. Okay. I'll ask you later. Awesome. All right. Let me make sure I, I hear an echo. Is it me? I know it's me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, when on my side. All right. So this is Scott Lucas. And we got Shelly Hopkins here. Yay! Both, we're both on day 18 of the 30 day live challenge to where we are going to be interviewing each other. And this is actually going to be my first time inter interviewing anybody. So bear with me. I'm a new. So, but we got StreamYard here. It's pretty cool. In honor of Corey, who's still uh, in Facebook jail. We love you and we miss you, man. Yeah, miss you. <laughs> All right. So, Shelly, I know you talk about uh, affiliate marketing in your IT. So, my question is, what experience in your IT background were you able to bring into your affiliate marketing uh, business? Not very much because <laughs> I used to talk to Chris Fong a lot because he's one of the ones that helped me in the beginning because mm -hmm. he has the same background. Oh, cool. Yeah, and he does IT. And I was like, you know, when I actually started in e-commerce, and then that's actually what had led me to affiliate marketing. But in the beginning, I got the big head and I was like, man, all this IT stuff, I'm going to be in there and I'm going to knock them dead and I'm going to, I'm not going to need much help. And I got this next thing, you know, man, you know how you get in there and you're like, I don't know anything about this. I don't know. This has to do from the e-commerce side. I was like, I have to build a store. Oh, okay. Right. I can do that. They said, you know, they tell you, you could do it in a week. I'm like, well, then I'll have it done in a couple days, you know? Yeah, it took me like months, like a long time. So I was mm -hmm. like, that's when I started kind of, you know, I was here. Right. I started kind of going down. I'm like, what am I talking about? And then you get into affiliate marketing and you have funnels and you have all of the stuff. And it, and it, it did the same thing because I was like, well, uh, uh, and then you get to the autoresponders and all that. Right. But it's kind of like me and Chris said, I mean, it really is not the same. It's not. But at the same time, you know, having the background, it does help. I mean, it doesn't have the, the point on point. But, you know, we know how to troubleshoot. We know how to find the people. We know right. how to do, you know, it makes this more, you know, we know once you know one software, you can figure anything out. So in a sense, and that's what helped me more than anything. If I would have started off that way instead of the big head, I probably would have been better. No, I understand that. Yeah, totally. So as far as uh, your IT, you what, 20 years network engineer? Yeah, well, actually, I was in, um, at first, you know what AS400 is? I've heard of it. It's been okay. a while. I was over that. Actually, I was a over programmer. And then I went from being a programmer to then I went and was over the whole system at a newspaper. And then at the same newspaper, then I went to be the IT director. Oh, cool. And then from the IT director, I went to do um, network. So I was a senior network engineer. And That's I was cool. that the last 11, 12 years. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I was only an IT administrator. So what type of degrees do you have? Um, I have an associate's in CST, which is computer systems technology. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, a bachelor's degree because at the time you couldn't go back and you couldn't can do right. that. Yeah, true, so yeah. then I went and got a bachelor's degree in computer science. Cool. My only degree is in associates in computer networking. Well, that's okay because you know what? Yeah. If you, if anybody's listening to this that has anything to do with IT, I only went for my bachelor, my bachelor's. I just, I just created a new word. I only went for my, um, my dog. I only went for the bachelor's degree because I wanted a master's degree. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But when I went to, it was OU or OSU, um, mm -hmm. and told them all of this, they were like, you didn't need to do that. An associate's degree in IT can be just as good as a, as a master's unless you really want to do like, um, at the time, um, I don't know, like, like a CEO or CIO right. for us. And I'm like, right. well, no, I don't want to do that. And he's like, well, then you don't need a master's degree. So really, I kind of went and got my bachelor's degree and didn't need it. So, well, you know, hey, you got some, you have knowledge and experience more than others, whether you need it or not. So, so yeah, that's cool. And Even with though it, I don't use it now. What's that? Even though I don't use it now. I mean, well, I do yeah, marketing. Right. 
You never know. I might need to. I might need to ask uh, an IT person who knows more than I do. So I might need to ask some questions. I got your back. Yeah, that's, that's good. And with affiliate marketing, uh, how long have you been doing affiliate marketing? And what would be from where you are now to where you were before? When you look at the process and journey of where of what you went through, what would be the number one thing that you would tell affiliate marketers who are right now in the beginning? That's a really good question because, oh my goodness, I remember starting off and I, I knew no one in this area. I knew um, nothing. I didn't know what I was doing. I, I, like I said, I was like a funnel. What, what's that? Um, and, and that's why I try to tell everybody too, which half the time, you know, no one listens right. is if you were, were to go back. Um, yeah. For one, find a coach. And people think that you have to pay thousands of dollars, which I've been in this no. area group. I've been talking about that. I'm like, you really don't. You know, you can find someone just like, for example, um, you know, with the funnels anyways, I signed mm -hmm. up under Chris. So I could go to him. Hey, can you help me with this? Can you do this? You know, it was like a free mentor because I yeah. signed up underneath him. So people can do that too. You know, you can, um, I have videos on my YouTube channel where, you know, hey, this is this, you need this to look for this in a mentor. You know, in a program, look for someone that has a coach that will that will help you. You know, I was telling you, I went live with exactly. my YouTube coach earlier today. You know, he's there to help me, to coach me, to guide me. And so I would tell someone for one to reach out and find someone to do that because there's lots of people, as I've heard you talk about before, can string you along to, to so many different directions. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to confuse the heck out of you and not help you. So yeah. that's one of the things that I would say. And then. You know, like I promote, you know, um, another company that's seven dollars. Well, I really like that because, you know, I can give them all of my free stuff. Like I did a course like with four videos on my YouTube channel that I think is just as good as a paid program. So I'm like, you have that. But then also, if you want more, I tell them that about, you know, a seven dollar program that has like 15 days they learn. And someone contacted me today and said, well, OK, you're going to have to pay a whole bunch of money after that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm always up front. They'll tell you there's like a $2,500 thing that you could purchase right. or buy, but you don't have to, you know, you don't have to. And then they're like, well, so you have to pay after that. No, you don't. It, you know, you can make up to 20, 30% commissions, which is still pretty decent. And you don't have to pay anything else. And there's not a lot of programs that's like that. Right. Most people are, they care more about making the buck. And they're like, oh yeah, you really have to do this or you know, like I talk about click funnels, you have to, you have to pay a hundred dollars a month. No, you don't. You know, if we're actually there to help people, which is what you should be there for. If not, you need to run like hell. Yeah. Because if you're not there to help people, then you can, you need to get out. So I try to do the cheapest for the best for people instead of telling you, you need all of this high stuff so I can make money. Right. That's also part of what I was talking about the other day with doing your due diligence. Yep. You know, when you do your due diligence and find this out beforehand, you know, if somebody is just money focused or really there to help you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I like that. That, that, was, that was good. I have a coach. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that's all the questions I could think of. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. That's okay. So, um, I'll, I'll bring it's your turn to interview me. Huh? <laughs> I guess it's your turn to interview me, huh? Well, first, Absolutely. I'm ready for you. But I yeah. wanted to tell everybody, too, since this is a video thing, um, and I do TikTok and I do YouTube. So, you know, if you want, if you're in affiliate marketing, the one thing that people don't talk about, and I learned this from Jacob Karras, mm -hmm. was not just watching people's content and learning, but watch their content to learn how they're teaching the content. Right. So if you're into affiliate marketing, check out my TikToks. And my YouTube videos, I try to make them kind of fun and entertaining and not boring. But that way, you don't, yeah, I yeah. Don't <laughs> so that way you can learn how to do it and not just learn how to do it. Right. Okay, let's do Scott. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, hey, Cheryl, thanks for watching live. Yeah, I'm hi. Ready. I don't get to see everybody. How's it going? No, that's fine. Like, it comes up on here on the dashboard, so that's cool. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, I need to. I need to get Streamyard. I just have. Um, it's a free. This is a free plan. You get up to get up to six people, and I after we're done, we can download it and do whatever we want with it on your YouTube or mine or whatever. Yay! Okay, Scott. 
we were talking about IT. And, right. um, you know, that's what I think that's one of the things that, that we met. I think we met like years ago um, with. Oh, yeah, because I've been doing this for well, a long time. So you talk about IT and I see it, which I've, I know you. So I know you do IT. I mean, even I had computer issues just last week and I was like, OK, if I can't figure this crap out, I'll just reach out to Scott and maybe he can help me. So um, but it's doing better now. <laughs> I also had a ton of files I had to delete. Shh. But Scott talks about IT a lot and he says that he can help you. And I mean, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I am. Go ahead. I don't but, mind. Yeah. I love the hot seat. But, you know, sometimes you're not clear on exactly how how you help people and, of course, how they could reach out to you. So can you tell them examples on, like, how you do help people with the IT stuff? So as far as what I do with the IT stuff is more of the back end and management style. Now, a lot of my IT isn't like with, with your experience with the programming. I never got into programming. It was just looking at all that code and stuff. I understand. Yeah. I understand it to a point, but most of mine was HTML. So, but as far as CSS, I don't make fancy, fancy funnels and stuff. But as far as the tech stuff, uh, you know, I've been able to kind of help people with funnels from troubleshooting or just specifically anything with their business from the management side. You know, it's, it's almost like a one size fits all. I mean, I know some people say they kind of niche it down, make it specific. And I made it specific to like uh, business owners. You know, people like you who are, have a business online to where you probably need to focus more on lead generation or things of that nature. So what I've been able to do behind the scenes for some people is just kind of take away this thing that you don't want to do so that you can focus on what you need to do. OK, and you mentioned you mentioned that I, I was talking to you a little bit about this earlier. You mentioned funnels mm -hmm. and I, there was a while back um, and then and. I used to always, anytime anybody mentioned like they needed funnels built or anything, I always right. put your name. I would, you yeah, know, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, contact Scott. Yeah. But, but one of the reasons I did that wasn't just because we were friends and, mm -hmm. and I knew you could do that, but there was someone that had a funnel. And to me, it was way com complicated. It was still when I used Click Funnels. Right. And they said that you had did it for them. And I was like, oh. Wow. I mean, it was like really cool and blew my mind. Do you right. still do you still do that? Do you help build the funnels for people? Yeah. So as far as uh, back when you were t tagging me, I actually used to work for ClickFunnels, uh, July 2017 to June 2018 in their tech support. So, you know, I was also working for them and seeing some of the tech stuff. You can tell the websites come in and all that stuff. But yeah, I still do that for people. Uh, I don't do it as much uh, just because of, what I've seen is people want all these fancy, pretty funnels and stuff. And I've learned even like whether it's the name dropping Russell Brunson or any other internet marketer, uh, they use simple funnels. They don't need some fancy stuff. So when I do it, I do it very simple because I know it works. And most of the time people are looking for that fancy funnel. So I kind of still do it, but for the people who are looking for the fancy, they need to have this going and that pop up and all this stuff, you know, that's the biggest mistake. So I don't do it as much just because I'm very particular about the type of people that understand the marketing and understand, you know, keep it simple instead of keep it classy. You don't need it classy. So, yeah, I still do make the funnels. I'm just very particular about the type. When I look at your business or anybody else's, so you can make it more simpler. So, yeah. True. And I've learned that too, you know, the hard way, like going through solo ads and going through different stuff and people's like, you know, you don't need that. You don't need this extra step. And so I've learned the wrong way too. Cause like my main funnel that I use that's everywhere. I mean, it's kind of simple, you know, right. I, don't, I don't, I can't say exactly, but it's like make money. No, I see the funnels. You keep it simple. Yeah. You, know, you add your personality, but you keep it simple. That's, you know, that's one missing element. I see a lot of different funnels will have. They don't have personality. They don't, they're not trying to figure out a way to connect with people. You connect mm -hmm. with people on um, from your website to your videos. So it's like, you know, when you're looking at funnels, you can keep it simple, but you know, video is the best way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And exactly. Yeah. yeah. I was talking about that to someone the other day about, do you don't even need a bridge page, put the video on the next page. You don't, don't delete that extra step. Yeah. 
And sometimes, depending on where you're starting, you don't even really need a funnel. You just need an autoresponder, like Active Campaign or Aweber. They have an autoresponder. They have a landing page in there already. You could input a video and then poof, capture the email. So if you're starting out brand new, don't have any money, sign up for a free trial with Aweber or Active Campaign, and then within two weeks, you know, get however much money this month. I believe I have a video on my YouTube channel about that. Cool. Um, <laughs> so you guys got notes and stuff. Okay, I got another question too. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about funnels and you do IT. Okay, let's just say, like, we were using me as an example. My computer, you know, was running slow and it was all jacked up, which, of course, it started off with internet issues, which was not me. Okay, but let's just it never say. never is. It never is. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Um, they actually ended up coming out and told me, they're like, we don't even see how you're running. It was that bad. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Yeah, and, I, and I'm supposed to was getting 400. But anyways, okay, so say someone is, they have, they're just having issues like that, like with their computer. Say they're having issues you know, this is running slow or um, this file just seems to be jacked up or corrupt. Do you do stuff like that for people too? I do, but I don't advertise it just because the way I do that would be remote. So like, let's say for you, for example, hey, you have a problem with your computer. Well, if you're having an internet issue connection, uh, I can walk people through things, but, you know, depending on internet, obviously, if I can't connect a remote to your computer, it'd be hard to troubleshoot, but I've done that before. It's just not something I advertise just because of the amount of time it can take mm -hmm. a little bit. So I kind of watch out for, I usually do a lot of questions first, like, you know, what, what type of uh, modem do you have or, you know, blah, 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 things of that nature. But I it rebooted. Is, right. And it's just qualify. It's just like qualifying questions. Like you're just, you know, troubleshooting to see, you know, what the best solution is. And I think sometimes with, with people looking at tech, you know, I know with me, you call Comcast customer service or whatever. It's like, uh, having to deal with that. So that's why when it comes to what I'm doing, I tried to make sure the customer service of me to service something of that nature was there first. So. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Cause you know, I, I I've wondered that in the past and I, I don't know if they've, they've reached out to you, but there was, there was, I know for sure someone, it was a couple months ago and was asking me, and I'm like, well, you could try this, this or this, but you know what? Right. I think Scott does that stuff. And I gave him your information. I don't know if they reached out to you or not, but, um, or if what I told him fixed it, you know, but I was like, man, I'm done with it. I mean, it's like, I <laughs> yeah. well, I'm oh, done. Yeah. I'm done. You know, you know, I'll help someone if they need it, you know, but I was like, here, try this stuff. It don't work. Google it. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to Scott. Go to Scott. YouTube it. No. Hey, everything's supposed to be on YouTube. Right. You it's know. actually hard to find <laughs> some of that internet stuff, though, on YouTube. What's that? It's kind of hard to find a lot of that stuff on YouTube. I mean, oh, yeah. Like, well, that's true. You, you have to have the version of this or the right thing of this. Yeah. And, you have to have the different keywords and plus signs and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, when I first started all of this, you know, they say pick a niche. What do you know? I'm like, well, I know IT. They're like, well, teach IT. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no. And it didn't sound, you know, fun, you know. No, I get I, it. You've been doing it long enough. Same yeah. Here. It's like, this is a Cisco switch. You can hook right. it. No. That's boring. No. Who would make money online? Who pulled that one out of the hat? <laughs> there you okay, go. I got another question for you, too. Okay. Dude, go ahead. I know a lot about the more of the um, you doing the IT stuff, but you know, recently, um, not recent, recent, but you know, more recent since the IT stuff, you know, you started doing the whole MLM stuff, mm -hmm. which you know, a lot of the MLM has a bad rep. Um, and, and if I found an MLM that had something to do with making money online, I would do it too because I've done MLM and I've succeeded. And it was funny. One day you mentioned Mela Luca. Yeah. You were using examples. Well, I used to do that. I loved the products. Yeah, I, I was loved it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I still have some stuff that that I oh, like cool. stock, yeah. stockpiled. Um, do you do you still do it? Yeah, I don't do Melaleuca, but as far as network marketing, yeah, I'm probably I try to stay active in it a little bit. Okay. So what I was going to say is, is I've kind of understood a little bit about what you're doing. I think it's more on the health area. But mm -hmm. I was going to say if you wanted to cover um, that for my last question. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it, uh, what is it you do? What's that? Tell us about it. Like the, the product. 
So the products are like uh, lozenges. You know, you have your lozenges that you're used to that are like medicine wise, right? So the product itself is, uh, looks like a lozenge, you know. Uh, I was, I do have the product behind me, but without trying to show it and sell it too much. Uh, basically the science behind it is uh, negative eons. And then the flavors taste like candy a little bit. So it's like, if you've ever done the health benefits or research on negative eons, things of that nature, it's like in a piece of candy and it's has a lot of different benefits. There's probably like 15 different products, but as far as the, the MLM wise, you know, the way I got into network marketing was by the product. I know a lot of people look on MLM and say, Oh, let's make money. This make money doing that. But when I looked at it, it was more of the product. This was back in 2004. So I've been doing network marketing off and on 2004 because do focusing on it, different things. So, but from the product and also the personal development, because at the time I didn't know what personal development was, didn't know who Jim Rohn was or anybody. But when I got into it, it was introduced to, I was introduced to network marketing the right way. And over the years, because I've been in and out is because I keep seeing people do it the wrong way. And it's like, join this, make this amount of money. And it's, we've gotten our own selves, the bad rep network marketers have done it to themselves. Unfortunately. I mean, and I can go into all that. That could, that's like a whole big, long, drawn out different live. But as far as the general thumb, as far as from my background into this, I got into nutrition because I have ulcerative colitis. And, you know, I just started on the nutrition type. And every nutrition that I found that was doing good was an MLM related. So I've done like liquids, shakes. I was with Beachbody once. Uh, that was pretty cool. The programs, you know, I like Tony, you know, really good, really good guy. Uh but as far as network marketing, as far as what I'm doing now, it's more on the nutritional side. And of course, I'm a product of the product, like I said, and I've been taking the products over now for several months. And, you know, I'm seeing good benefits and, you know, it's just about me getting get more out there, promoting it more. You know, I What's have a small ion? What's, that? Here. What's that? What's the ion thing? Negative ions. It's like the it's like the scientific thing behind the name of the product. The, the name of the company is APL Go. And they what have is, like what's good about the eons ions. The good's good about them. Oh, okay, so from the science point of view, and I haven't really delved into the science too much. I kind of have a brief summary of it, you know. But as far as try without trying to get techno babble and all that stuff, negative eons is like when you're going out in nature, like waterfalls, forest, hiking. You're out there being active around that type that type of environment. Uh, there's certain things in the air called negative eons or positive eons. And there's, it's, it's, it's better if I describe it visually, but it's, so I'm really bad at describing this, which is why I kind of have like a visual to kind of share it. So without the visual, it's like, I can give you the information, but it sounds like techno babble just cause I'm not good at explaining it. And that's the thing with network marketing. You don't try to, I don't need to explain it. I think too many people in network marketing try to explain their products and products, which is good. It's just when people looking at, are looking at network marketing, they think, oh, I have to try to sell it. Instead of trying to just show, hey, there's this little picture here and there and, you know, doing sales aids and videos like this helps a lot more in describing a video than me trying to explain it. But as far as the science behind it, it's supposed to make you feel, make your body feel better. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was, I was interesting. That's why I asked it. I always. Sometimes my thing. IT and tech, the, yeah, I just, yeah, my techno babble needs to be better, so. Needs to be better. Yeah. Well, it's okay. I, everybody always tells me I talk wrong. Like I mean to say this word and I say this word. So right. Okay. Me too. I, talk I talk wrong. You yeah. know about what? <laughs> now, uh, I'm right there with you. Too. Huh? Yeah, I'm right there with you. Same people say, like, huh? Talk too fast. Oh, I get that all the time. Oh my right? god. <laughs> All the time. And my YouTube host today was like, Shelly, the, the most recent video, he was like, for one, he said, I didn't have my personality in it. But two, he he was like, why are you talking slow? I'm like, because people were telling me I talk too fast. Exactly. I, that's why I'm trying to make pauses and stuff in between. But I'm yeah, I saw that video where you said it talked about that too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my YouTube coach basically said, screw it and be yourself. So just go right. with it. Just go yeah, with just, it. I'm doing what I can here, you know. Okay. Well, see, that was awesome. See, yeah, everyone. awesome. Awesome. Now, everybody knows about Scott and Shelly and exactly what we do and how we can help you. 
That's right. So as you can see, scrolling down there, Google us, look us up on Facebook, all that good old stuff. But uh, other than that, Shelly, it's High been five. enjoyable. It's been fun. High five. <laughs> okay high five so yeah that's been cool so it's been awesome see y'all later bye guys hashtag live hashtag replay you know the drill peace you have out questions leave us know yep <laughs>